There are 500 species of sharks. And 80% are four feet or less. See? They're, oh my God, almost went down. Hello everybody. Welcome back to In Your Face 2. This is another episode of Having Fun. This is another chapter in our Boston adventure. Our Boston series. <laughs> um, today we're at beautiful Boston Harbor. Which I'm told now is one of the cleanest harbors in America. They've cleaned it up. I don't know when they cleaned up, but yeah, it's supposed to be really clean. Yeah, you can swim, you can fish, you can do all the kind of stuff you can't do in like the Hudson. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're down here. Uh, today, uh, you can tell by my shirt, Jaws, is we're gonna go to an aquarium and I just wanna scare all the fish in the aquarium see when they see the shark. They uh, know who's top of the food chain. Because you really need to intimidate the fish. Huh? Yeah, I want to intimidate the yeah. fish. But we're going to that building right over there. That is, I keep calling it the Boston Aquarium, but it's not. It's the New England Aquarium. That's the, I think that's the actual name of it. And it's also uh, under construction, looks like. <laughs> well, they're, they're, it looks like they're cleaning or something. Yeah. But I'm um, sure the inside's just fine. So we're yeah. going to do that. Then we're going to take a cruise out there. A little uh, sightseeing cruise on the Boston Harbor. So, yeah, if you like fish, you like boats, or you, maybe you just like us. Who knows? You know? Yeah, or maybe just her, support her. But yeah, <laughs> we started the morning with a nice little walk from the hotel. Uh, we got some donuts at Kane's Donuts, and now we're gonna go check out some fishies. So as we walk over to that building there. You can check out us getting some donuts. And then we'll be at the aquarium. Just like that. YouTube magic. One of the cool things about just walking through downtown is you come across these little parks, these little squares, these little green areas. And we were going down that street, walking through the park right there, and she was like, oh, look, this is pretty. I said, well then let's walk through it, right? Yeah. I mean, we're going to go in the same general direction. So, yeah, maybe they didn't, uh, our Google Maps didn't send us through here because they knew we would take a little longer to get where we're going, but sometimes that's a good thing. Not everything has to be a rush. But yeah, it's a new fountain. So that's like a, a walk, you can walk through it. It's a walk through fountain. So I'm sure sometimes kids just play here. Could you imagine though, like, if it wasn't on and you're sitting there, like, eating a sandwich or a donut or something, and all of a sudden the fountain just comes on? <laughs> ah! The bird. birds get a drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, my pinch. A little bird bath, too. Huh? Yeah. This is pretty. So, this is Norman B. Leventhal Park, dedicated in 1987 by the city of Boston. And, uh, yeah, so I, I wonder what the name of the park was before that because I, I doubt that they just created a park in 1997. Everything here is so old. Maybe it was just a, a little green space park and they, they made it fancy like this. Anyway, it's very beautiful and a nice place to walk through. I like how we're talking about the healthy stuff when we're going to get donuts. <laughs> so you didn't fall for any of my tricks. No. Trying to tell you we're going someplace else. Where are we going? Canes. That's right. Not raising canes. Not raising canes like our son. He's in love with raising canes, chicken fingers. Yeah. Carrie's hoping she'll be in love with Kane's handcrafted donuts. Donuts are love. We got a lot of donuts up there. It's a little bit of Sorry, we're overwhelmed. It's going to take us a bit. <laughs> Orange creamsicle. Oh, that's neat. Orange cream skull, pina colada. 
Uh, look at this maple bacon. There's a Boston cream. Honey dip. Turtle. Honey lemon. I think it's lemon curd though. So we are down by Boston Harbor, which is I think our first time actually seeing the harbor on this trip. We drove under it when we um, got picked up from the airport. But I don't think we've actually seen it straight up. And it's neat. It's all these boats and stuff like that. It's very nice how we picked a shaded area. So because we have obtained the donuts. donuts. We have donuts from Canes. And so um, we're going to do a taste test and see if they're any good because we hear uh, good things about it. What you got there? Yours? Yes. This is... I. What did I get? I got the... Honey jelly. Honey jelly. That's mine. And then we got... That is... What is that one called? Butter crunch. The butter crunch. Oh, here's a paper for you. Look at that there. And then... I know the last one's a creme brulee. Ooh, the brulee is falling off. I think it's the other way. Huh? Is that at the top? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, as you can see it, they have brulee it, which just means to burn it. <laughs> so, you got that there. There you go. This one's mine. Those ones are both hers. Even though she's trying to get me to split it with her. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's all you. All right, what are we starting with? The butter crunch? Mm -hmm. All right. It's a big donut. Mm -mm. Almost, mm, as big as your, almost as big as your face. They don't look that big in the case. I don't like really big, big donuts, but this one's not too bad, but it is big. What do you think? It's good. Yeah, and, and it tastes it's like soft. crunchy butter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Come on, feels like coconut. It looks like coconut. It looks like toasted coconut, which I don't really care for coconut. But it doesn't taste like coconut. No? Hmm. It's not to me. Well, you're the one eating it, so you're the one that matters. <laughs> Mine is the honey jelly. Now, I thought it's got glaze and like a honey jelly inside, but I think it's got the honey glaze on the outside and like raspberry jelly or something you can see right there. So it's got a raspberry jelly or something inside, so it's gonna be like a honey raspberry. That's what I think. Yeah. That just tastes like a regular jelly donut. Let me try that. Just the honey part. Yeah. So it's a honey glaze on a regular jelly donut. That's good. Almost choked. You shouldn't talk and eat at the same time. People don't realize how dangerous YouTube is. <laughs> I never talk and eat at the same time, but I'm trying to do this for you. So I'm putting my life on the line to make YouTube videos for you people. So if you get a chance, since we're talking about it right now, why don't you give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, and click notifications. Just do it now. Why wait till the end? You know I'm going to tell you at the end anyway. But now you see it now. Good solved donut. Canes. That one was good. You have another one to try. You got the, what is that? The creme brulee. Yes. I'm going to try on the dark side. You know, her getting a creme brulee confused me because she doesn't like creme brulee. Yeah, but it's on a donut. <laughs> Good. 
Okay, let me see. I I hope y'all try and get you to the to the crim. <laughs> Go ahead and get some from. <laughs> the brulee is delicious. Yeah, that's what went on the other side. Did you get it? The crumb yet? No, because I see it on the back side. Oh, it's like a, they do like a, it's like a jelly donut. They use, fill it on one side, you should have went for the whole. There you go. Now you got to it. How is that? Better? All right. I'm eating like that. Right. <laughs> okay. I, okay. You barely got to it. Look, I know. I'm just gonna look. There. There's the. the donut's so big. There's the. There's the creme. Just rip the donut. <laughs> That's so much better with the cream. It's regular uh, custard. They didn't change the recipe. <laughs> That's good. No, it's a, like a Boston cream donut, but instead of chocolate, um, they brulee the top with. Well, I don't know what would they put on top, like sugar. That's just sugar. sugar, yeah, just sugar and mm -hmm. and and use a torch. It's good. It's good. I didn't taste the. What is this one? You said butter crunch? Yeah. It's coconut. Is it? I no. It doesn't taste like coconut. It's toasted. It's toasted coconut. Hmm. I know what toasted coconut tastes like. And it tastes like. I only like coconut in certain ways. Mm. I like them in an almond joy or mounds bar. <laughs> I, I like them on um, uh, chicken and shrimp. Yeah. But not too much. Um, but that has the taste. They don't make them anymore. The mother's um, cookies. The mother's uh, sandwich cookies. Oh. They have the, the, the um, rectangle cookie with the cream in the middle, ridges on top. And it was a coconut cookie. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, it's a coconut cookie. And you don't get coconut flakes or anything you just get the coconut taste mm -hmm. and I used to get those my grandmother always used to have them in a big glass jar when we go over uh, you reach the jar and take a couple cookies and I started doing that too I always had a jar with those cookies in it but then they, they changed the recipe right to make them different they don't taste anything. but that taste the coconut taste in that is the same taste of that cookie and yeah it's coconut right when I took a bite I know that taste. So it almost tastes like a mother's cookie. If they would do that with a little cream in the middle, maybe I'd, you know, have That'd to move to favorite. Boston. I'd That'd have to move to Boston cookie. so I could have the, like, <laughs> I, that's when I can get that cookie <laughs> and a donut for them. Come on, the donut thing's over. They're, they're done watching the donuts. Oh, okay. All right, so, whew, barely made it before the donuts were over. Um, so yeah, there's the aquarium. What do you think of that? It doesn't look like an aquarium. No, it's all silver. It's maybe really those modern. are supposed to be like fish scales. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, let's go get our tickets and uh, go inside. Hopefully it's not that long away. They do do um, slotted time uh, entry. So, and hopefully we'll be able to get in with our yes. Go City passes. All right, let's find out. So as I thought, or as I hoped, uh, we used our Go City pass and we got a time of right now. It's 10.40 entry, if you want it at 10.40. But first, we're gonna look at some seals. Yeah, they have seals outside before you go in. Okay, don't get offended. Okay, but this scene here reminds me of you, because you want to take a nap. And then you have me going, come on, let's go do some, come on, let's go do some. Is that accurate? Yeah. yeah. Not on this trip. You want to get up and go just as much as me. But when we're home, like on a Sunday, you're t you're sleeping, and I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, somewhere let's you. go to breakfast. Let's, let's go, go to, to breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, uh, I don't feel good. And there's me. 
Come on, bring your bacon. <laughs> but you say, I don't feel good. And I know you do feel good. You just want to sleep. You're tired because you work so hard. That's our entry time. We show them. So it's like, head on in those pants. Thank you so much. And just like that, they're actually allowing us into the building. Yeah. Oh, okay. Scanning station. They scan your ticket. So they got restrooms and a rental locker. Map, the visitor map. It shows all the areas. I guess they don't have physical maps. You can scan your phone. So you can scan the QR code and get a virtual map. I don't think that we're gonna get lost. <laughs> that shark and ray touch tank. You get to touch them. <laughs> so downstairs, after touching the sharks and the rays, you can go down here. There are 500 species of sharks, and 80% are four feet or less. See, they're oh my god, almost went down. So the educational, interactive display in the middle here. You know, kids and grown-ups alike. Oh, this one's even bigger. It's like they have a video wall of things you'll never do. <laughs> and get in the water with a shark. Not even in a cage, right? I would really like to do that. I just don't think I would actually do that. Okay. <laughs> I think you would. I think you would. You think I would? Yeah, sure. If we were like, if we took like a trip somewhere where that's one of the things, I think you'd do it, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't be very comfortable. It's like me on the on the gondola in Venice. It was fun and I did it, but I didn't really enjoy it too much because I always felt like we were going to tip over. But this is a shark. That'll, that'll bite you. I can swim if I tip over in a boat. Unless there's a shark. So, not just the science of sharks, we actually have a few sharks here that you can see too. Downstairs. Going back up, I hope I don't trip going up. Look at all these fishes. So why are these guys separated from those guys? They're in trouble. They're in timeout. Yeah. They inspired something. Skeleton up there, and off from the penguins, right over here. There's fur seals and sea lions. So you exit, come out of here, and there's supposedly there's going to be some. Sea lions. They have a new sculpture there. Uh, I see it. It's right over there. You can see. You can hear them too. That that distinctive. I wonder if we can feed them. I always like doing that. I like doing that at uh, Sea World. Feeding the sea lions fish. You need to look out at the bay too. Look at that. Alright, we are about to ascend 
the aquarium. At least it's a slow incline. Yeah. Alright, let's check it out. Who's a eel? So this goes all the way up. Yeah, we'll see you in just a second. What do you think about that? <laughs> Look at this. I've never got this view of penguins before. So, it doesn't just go straight up, it actually breaks off again at the next floor, and there's more exhibits to see. That's good because I was afraid it was just gonna go up around it and that was it. But no. They're utilizing the space and there are options to just walk up to the different floors if you want. Oh my favorite jellyfish. This is a freshwater jelly. And over here we got some ladies comb jelly. Mm. I think they're they're just really neat. Now it's it's Look at that. And just see so just and just so you guys know, if you if you ever come here, there's like a step here. Where I guess you actually step up and get up here. Well, we both almost trip. We both hit our feet on that. All right, level two. Move it up. I hadn't noticed. Here's that well skeleton. You can tell we're getting to the top because you can see the surface of the water. So everybody's looking for the octopus. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And then he's right there. He's actually hiding right here. You can see him. In plain sight. Right there, in plain sight. Oh, look at this. Oh, they got birds. So after the exhibits and the top, there's actually a whole other level. I think we can see the surface of the um, tank, top of the giant ocean tank. Somebody's excited because they saw a turtle. There's some more exhibits up here at the top. And... I think he's enjoying it. Goes all the way down. It's pretty neat. Whoa! All right. Yes. Yeah. 
So what do you do after you see an exhibit? Go to the gift shop. Go to the gift shop. Here we go. Of course they have tons of stuffed animals. But here are the, yes, these are the official um, pieces of merchandise. It's <laughs> that little crayon's got like the, the a shirt shot. bite out of it. Those are $22. Water bottles, no logo. There's a sticker. Stickers are $5 each or buy two, get one free. And of course, you have found some official merchandise and an ornament. I like that one. It does it oh it says it on the ribbon? Yeah. Oh that's cool man. I like that one. I like the penguin one and it won't break <laughs> on the flight home. But that jellyfish. Oh, there he is over here. Oh yeah. alright. Yeah, I like that one. I looked at the uh, sea dragon, but it's like this one. Oh, uh, I should have done that. Yeah. Are you getting that one? Yeah. Cool. What do they have? They have pint glasses, shot glasses. The pint glasses are $18, the shot glasses are $12. All right, and that's a goodbye to the aquarium. Back to the great outdoors. So what do you think of the aquarium? I really liked it. They have a lot of neat little sections. Yeah, I thought they, they fit a lot of stuff into the area. Um, I like the, the tank though, said it had a shark in it. <laughs> I didn't see a shark. It had two enormous turtles, which was awesome. Two, two big sea turtles, those are cool. Um, yeah, and the, the theater's over here. Away from it, so if you get one of the tickets to see one of the movies, that's where you go see the movies. Uh, but then now we get to walk over there, the other side, and uh, sign up for our harbor cruise, the sightseeing harbor cruise. We're not going to whale watching, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, so at least we have to go out in the harbor on a boat. I don't, I don't think we should eat first. I was thinking about that, maybe not. I'm hungry. I, I wanted to get some lunch. I'm not super hungry, but I'm hungry. Yeah. But yeah, I think I don't think you know eating lunch than going on a boat Ooh, will be uh, very smart. So all right, let's go get the cruise. All right. So that was easy once again. We got our tickets, and we just go down here, and we're boarding in five minutes. Man, everything's working out. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it by saying everything's working out pretty easy today. <laughs> That's when my camera's going to go out or I'm going to puke on the boat. <laughs> of course, if I do puke on the boat, I'm going to hand you the camera and I want you to record it. Ew! Alright, we're going to gate two. Gate two in five minutes. Frederick L. Nolan Jr. I think that's our boat. Well, all of our boat. <laughs> Sunny, so it's a little warm. At the end, yeah, but then, but then um, 
Well, I was gonna say the opposite. Really? At the end, it got really cool. It got breezy and cool. At the beginning, the sun was just on you. No breeze. It was nice. It wasn't too hot. Yeah. But then towards the end, it got nice and breezy and cool. And I was like, uh, it was like they turned on the air conditioning outside. <laughs> So I guess my experience is the opposite of yours. I it was cooler and then the U.S. is constitutional so I just felt like the sun come from the clouds. Yeah. And it was really hot. But yeah, see, for me it was different. Huh. We got to the constitution and all of a sudden I felt the breeze. Yeah. And I was just, like I said, I was just leaning against the rail, taking it all in. It was a nice anyway. day though. Yeah. I guess we got to get off the boat now. <laughs> so that's going to do it for our aquarium. Harbor Cruise Adventure. What'd you think? I liked it. I always like a good uh, boat cruise if you're near the water. All right. Yeah. So you should do it any any kind of place that has it. Um, we don't want a location drop, place drop, <laughs> as Daniel says. But we took a cruise in uh, Paris. Remember that one? The river cruise. The Seine River. Uh -huh. um, New York. New York. We took that one. Rob, we went, in New York, we took the cruise because we went. We saw Ellis Island and the Statue yes. of Liberty instead of actually going to the Statue of Liberty. Because when you go to the island, yeah, you see it, but at that time you couldn't go up in it. Yeah. And um, so you, we took the cruise instead. We had to wait in a big line to get on the boat to go out there. Plus, we got pictures of it with, with it behind us instead of like this. There's the. There's the uh, the statue, you know, like that. So that was cool. But uh, yeah, and then the aquarium was really nice. I liked it here. I liked seeing all the fishies. Yeah. I scared a few of them with my shirt. Du -dun, du -dun, du -dun. They didn't look all that scared. Yeah, they did. I, a few of them scattered. They were in a school, and I came up there. They saw me, and then they dispersed. Yep. Sure, it was for your shirt. Hey, all I know is they didn't scatter till I walked up with the, and put and I put my shirt against the window. Yeah, I would say give yourself about an hour and a half to two hours for the aquarium. Yeah. It could be done faster yeah. if you actually take your time and enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, give yourself two hours and and don't go to the gift shop in the beginning because you go in the gift shop, you can't yeah. get back in. Yeah. It doesn't let you back in. You can tell them, they'll let you back in. Yeah. You just have to go back to the entrance. But I thought that was kind of weird. <laughs> Once you go in the gift shop, you're out. I had to go back in to get, the, your money, to get my backpack. I had out. to go back in to get it. Uh, from the locker. It's five dollars for a locker if you want to lock your stuff up and it's good all day. Uh, when you're done with it you just hold the little uh, end button and it, then it ends it. Um, yeah, the, so you just be careful about that and uh, yeah, but experience everything there. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah. nice day. And then uh, we did the sightseeing tour but they have dinner cruises, they have the Godzilla, and they have other ones like that. So no watching. Yeah, well, oh, they have well watching. We you can actually, if you buy your ticket for the aquarium, you can actually add a well watching ticket to it. Uh, but we use the Go City app. Yeah. No, no, no sponsorship. But, but if they want to sponsor us and send us to other cities with their app, yeah, we'd be more than happy to do it. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, all right, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna like the video. You're gonna subscribe to the channel, and you're gonna click notifications. Right, so you don't miss the video. You already know that you should do that. So just do it. Get it done at the beginning anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Have fun and we'll see you in the next video. Time to eat. Yes, time to eat.